Now we only went through uh, a few of our cases. We actually were missing one more. And to kind of illustrate this, what if I changed uh, this node to 24? Let's just arbitrarily say that I, I came in for 24 for the purpose that I want to make a new insert of 21. Well, in this case, you'd see that we do kind of follow the same principle. I, I jump down between my trees, I see 24, and so I would make my 21. Just like we've kind of established before, 24 has another kind of black node, and 21 also has these null nodes as well. But sort of the ruling is, I mentioned in the last video was, uh, if parent is red, that's our first criteria. But then we want to look at that parent's sibling. So just to kind of draw these uh, numbers out, I have some n, that's me. I have some parent, and then I have some sibling. So I, I really kind of hammered in that these have uh, some null uh, black nodes. And the reason why is because the sibling to my parent right now is a uh, black uh, null node. So if sibling, uh, well, I'll say, I'll, I'll, I'll call it S uh, the, to explicitly talk about the parent's sibling, not my sibling, but if parents sibling is black in this situation we can't just do a simple recoloring I can't just magically recolor P because well S is already kind of being taken care of so instead we find that we do our good old-fashioned trinode restructuring and so we have to kind of handle all the practices that came into uh, trinode restructuring. First, that n is kind of being created. My parent is going to be created. And you might remember that we have to have my grandparent. We were calling it z in previous videos, but to just kind of not have to throw too many additional uh, letters on the screen, we'll just kind of keep them as n p and G for this. And just like a trinode restructuring, we find out which one is going to be my A, which one's going to be my B, which one's going to be my C. And we still follow the same principles of trinode restructuring in that I'm only caring about these three variables. Again, myself, my parent, my grandparent, my X, my Y, my Z. And as always, we work off of the idea of in order traversing. So in our case, we're looking to see what happens first. Well, since we're not dealing with any of G's left children, it would happen to be my A, because then I would access it. Then I would access the right children of G. And we see that I get to P. But P happens to have a left child. So we would access it next. And then finally, P would come in. So once again, as we've seen in the past, as we've seen plenty of times, B is going to become the new parent. And A and C are going to become the new children. Any subtrees that exist are going to get inherited to either A or C. So in this case, you happen to notice that we have null nodes, so we're actually kind of in a luck, uh, lucky spot here. Uh, so the first thing we do is we do that restructuring. So I'm simply going to kind of draw this uh, slightly off the screen, uh, slightly not off the screen, but slightly away from this, this kind of connection, because that's a very beautiful looking tree, and I don't want to ruin it just yet. So you see that I would get 24 here. You see that I, w sorry, not 24, 21 here. You see that I would get 24 here. And you'd see that I get 20 
here. And then you'd probably say, well, hey, you know, that didn't actually sort of resolve anything. This still happens to be, you know, red. So now that we've done this restructuring, I've repositioned everything, the reason why I, I kind of wanted to draw it over here is what we do is we take A and we're going to make it red. We're going to take C and we're going to make it red. And as you can probably guess, we're going to take B and we're going to make it black. So. In this case, 21, well, let's just kind of over the top of that circle. We turn that one into a black node, and then we turn 20 into a red node. Let's try and get it right on top of that line, and we turn... 21, uh, 24 into a red node. It happens to already be red, so we are already kind of in place. And so what we would see as sort of a kind of modified look to this is I'd come in. I'm going to get rid of all of that stuff I was just dealing with. So here. Mm hmm. And I would just take this kind of structure that I, I just built and I would kind of apply it here. So once again, 21 is a black node, just to kind of reconnect that. Then I happen to have two children, of which, well, I'll kind of use coloring. I have 20, which is a red node, and I have 21, uh, 24, which is also a red node. And if we kind of look at the same rules as always, our root is black. Our red nodes all have black children here and 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 here. And if we recalculate black depth, once again, that's kind of important. So if, say, for example, I was to go to, say, 15, we see that I see I've got one, two, three black nodes here, one, two, three here, one, two, three here, one, two, three here, one, two, three here, one, two, three, 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 Three. And so, as I've just kind of mentioned, black depth has been maintained. So just to kind of write this back out, once I've done that trinode restructuring, I change B to black, change A and C to red.